welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is destiny but you call me nini bestie hey bookie what's up y'all i am back with another video today as you can see from the title we are going to target y'all know how i feel about target um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are already part of this channel go ahead if you are not and you're a new viewer wait to the end if you like it here stay here period i'm gonna see y'all when we get to target as y'all can see we are at my house in my living room because i recorded that whole target vlog y'all it was like an hour and a half long i put so much effort into it get into the car y'all look at the footage just to see the sd card talking about some can i display all that footage gone y'all when i tell y'all i sat in the car and cried i did cry like a baby too because what do you mean what do you mean <laughs> into it and i spent money like i was so excited for the vlog but after i did all that crying i came home i ate my chipotle and had a brainstorm took all my makeup off because i was gonna get in the bed and say that's it for the rest of the day but baby i'm not one to give up no ma'am i spent all that money the video must go on period. period so here i am with a target haul from all the stuff i bought in that video and it was let me find a receipt for y'all three hundred sixty five dollars if y'all can see that three hundred sixty five dollars worth of things that i got from target and i am going to record a video today show y'all what i got period um let this be inspiration y'all if, if 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 your stuff don't record just just try to save it man just try to save it let's get to the video i have thumbnail boy if you don't get all right i got three bags worth the things and we just gonna go through them i'm gonna start with like shower stuff the first thing i got was this natrium the smoother glycolic acid body wash and i got this one because it's fragrance free and then i've been seeing people try it on tiktok and they say it's really good and it says it's for it exfoliates and then gives you smoother and softer skin so I got this and I'm gonna try this out, y'all. Then I got some of this, some St. Ives Soothing Body Wash. And it's oatmeal and shea butter. Y'all, this is the truth. Like, I bought this because it smells so good and I'm running out of my other one. And if you watched my last Target video, which we was actually in Target for that one, go watch that. But I got this and y'all, it was so good. It was so good. So I got a new one. And then the next item is this Natrium the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Butter. So, sorry, y'all, we got the sun working with us. There we go. And I got this one because it was the same brand as this. So, I'm like, if y'all say this is good, then this is probably good too. And it's a body butter. And I'm like, let me try. And it was a cute packaging. Like, how could I say no? It was cute. Ooh. It got a little smell to it. It smelled good. I got it on my lip. But it's really like a body, like butter looking thing. So excited to try that. I did get it all over my shirt and stomach just now. It's soft. <laughs> okay. So we got that. The next thing we got was some loofahs. Blue, orange, pink, and green. I got my loofahs because y'all, I realized that you need to change these out way more than you think. 
um and i'm like dag i should just buy a lot so that i could use it for a little bit throw it away and then i have a new one and i gotta keep going to the store every time i need a new one because y'all know I, I, like i said go watch that last video if you haven't but y'all know i say you need to wash your body with that white ghetto scrubby cloth wash and then you can go in with your body wash with your loofah and you know suds it up and feel all good so i got a lot of these for that well probably should put these on the floor and put them on the couch and then i got this eos cashmere shave butter I got it because I be seeing that people say the EOS brand has really good shaving cream. And instead of getting the, the like spray one, I got this one because like it's a butter like instead of a foam. So I was kind of curious and it smells so good. And the packaging was pretty. And y'all know if y'all don't know, y'all need to know I am a sucker for pretty packaging. So we got that too. Now we can move on. I am. Oh, wait okay so next i got a uh, eight pack of razors and these are not the ghetto ones these are the good ones that come with like the three little rows or whatever and i got these man razors are good too but i really like these um they get what they need to get and you'll be happy and good um and then i also got some of these these are the hydro silk um razors and i use these to shave the mustache for the king. whatever needs to be shaved real quick i use these and then also sometimes i use these for my wigs because they cut really good so i got some new razors and then i got the same brand the hydro silk and i got this which is shaped and everything for derma planning and I want to do that as like on a on a self care day. I want to derma plane my whole face because I just know it's gonna be giving the girls. Like what I be seeing I'm doing on TikTok, it be giving. Like it be real cute. So I got this too for that. And then let's move on to mouth care, mouth hygiene, breath, y'all. Your breath, stuff for your breath. Okay. So I got this two value pack of tom's um toothpaste peppermint and y'all this is my toothpaste i love this toothpaste um it's tea i honestly don't know if i ever had the peppermint one usually don't have like no flavor so a lot of people think it's nasty but it's just be brushing real good but we're gonna see what this one's talking about i love tom's my mouth be feeling so clean and she gets the job done period next you already know they're a breath I got the pink one and I never used the pink one. I never like, I've never had the pink one before, but I got the pink one cause I'm like, it's cute. And I need to stop buying stuff because of the packaging is cute. Anyway, um, I just want to try this kind. Y'all know I had the dark blue one and that one was good. And then y'all know I had the green one for my last video and the green one tastes like somebody uncle's house. And I was like, I'm just not forcing myself to gargle with nobody uncle house at the end of the day if you know what i mean you know what i mean it just tastes like somebody uncle or auntie house that smokes cigarettes like that's what it tastes like the way it smelled her is the way that the green mouthwash tastes so the pink one is what i will be trying and hopefully it's good if not we're just gonna have to run it back to the, to the blue one. um next i got these for my girlies with braces these are the grin soft sticks and these you take them and you like get them in between your braces because y'all i don't know if i be eating or the braces be eating more than me but your food if you know you know the food be getting stuck in your braces so if you get some of these and they have some cheaper ones at walmart and i also be getting those but i was just at target and i saw these so i'm gonna get these but these will save your life you take these you put them in your purse so that whenever you eat or anything you can literally clean your teeth out so that you're not walking around thinking you got stuff for your teeth. 10 out of 10 recommend. Next, I got a pack of Colgate toothbrushes. Self-explanatory. You need to switch your, your toothbrush um, a lot. And so, I got some new toothbrushes because I've been going through toothbrushes a lot lately. Next. 
I got these tongue scrapers, the Grin brand, and y'all, they're metal. So they're like little, it's probably like the real size. They're like little, uh, I was gonna say portable, what is it called? Disposable tongue scrapers, which I love because, girl, I have a metal one, like I have two metal ones, and I just stopped using it because I don't know, like something about it just grosses me out. The metal of it all, I don't know, something about it just grosses me out. The fact that I gotta reuse it, it's just not tea for me. So I seen a girl talk about these on TikTok, and I'm like, girl, I'm gonna go get them. I can scrape my tongue, breath can be fresh, and um, when you get done, you can throw it away. And this came in like a, it's a 48 pack. So, yeah, I got me some of them. And then, I got me some toothbrush covers. Because, y'all, sometimes I just forget to co cover my toothbrush. And I be like, it ain't that deep. Like, it's not like I've been getting sick or nothing. But, oh, no. Y'all made me feel some type of way. Well, the girlies made me feel some type of way on TikTok when they keep saying you just cover your toothbrush. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to cover the toothbrush. Whatever. Because, apparently, I'm getting doodle water air on my toothbrush and uh, brother uh. y'all not finna try to play me like that so i got some toothbrush covers and next this was supposed to be in the shower situation but i forgot i got this dove turmeric milk and lemon drop plant milk cleansing bar and it's supposed to be like a glow booster or whatever and y'all when i tell you it smells so freaking good y'all it smells so good like yeah the girlies on tiktok nobody me tiktok 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 well that's where i get my information from these days period stop it get some help but people say that this is really good and like they like a whole bunch of different other flavors but this one just smells so good to me. I don't like a lot of different scents. But this one was tea. So I got it and I'm going to try this out. Okay. Next, I got some pads from the Honey Pot, of course. I love the Honey Pot pads, y'all, because I got the I get the ones with the cooling, cooling herbs in them. Y'all, people, some people like these, some people hate them. But y'all, I love when I'm on my period and I'm cramping and it make my cooch feel like a peppermint patty. A peppermint patty. I'm telling y'all, something about that just make soothes the cramps away and everything. If you don't have you if oh if you have not tried these, try these y'all. Like don't sleep on them. It's gonna be feeling like a peppermint patty. Your cramps is gonna be helped out. It's gonna feel just relieving and cooling and it's just the tea like try these out if you have it if you don't like them if you try them i digress i am yeast infection prone and these do not give me a yeast infection so the honey pot try these out next i got um i don't really know what the brand is called i guess like l is for love it's the brand l is for love and i got the 100 percent organic cotton core tampons and I got the 30 pack and super because unfortunately um yeah my leg was going dead unfortunately baby light or regular cannot do nothing for me I need super or sometimes if it's bad super plus but thank god lately I ain't been that bad so I got me a 30 pack of the super and these are really good tampons y'all and they're organic and if you want like a travelable travelable girl is that even that's not no type of word or phrase if you want a travel how would i say it? anyway if you want a travel tampon there we go if you want a travel tampon like that are compact and small the kotex brand are really good i never had no issues with those and again i am used to vector pro and they're little and then you just and it elongate them after you take the wrapper off. Those are good too. But I like these um, because they're organic. And I literally have never had no problems um, with these types of tampons. So get it to it. And the packaging is cute. Like, cute. Okay. Okay. 
Now we are on to skincare and makeup. Y'all know I gotta have my Dye Pepsi. Okay. The first thing I got was my cellar water, the pink one. I don't know the difference of like what they do versus the color, but I got the pink one in the first place. And so I just always use the pink one. Literally takes my makeup off like this. Literally this. And yeah. 10 out of 10 T. And hold on, let me go get something for y'all. Cam back. Okay, so I got these from there. Not today. But I got these before, y'all. These are literally perfect. They're the organic cotton ovals. Let me show you how big they are. They are so big. Like, and then you put the micellar water on her. You probably only need like two of these to take your makeup off before you wash your face. I love these. Get y'all some of these. Like, this is tea. Okay, next. I got... Um, some bio oil, some bio oil, skincare oil, and I always see this everywhere for like months and months and months, and people say it helps with so many things, like, I think it's this and like the vitamin E oil, but it says it helps with scars, stretch marks, uneven skin tone, aging and dehydrated skin, and then it contains porcelain oil, which um makes it easy to be absorbed or whatever and so i be seeing this all the time and y'all say it's so good for the skin and so i'm like let me get it and it's so pretty like what that is cute bro that is cute so i said let me add this to my skin care routine even though y'all y'all know my skincare routine from the last video i literally wash my face with a washcloth and then i put on elf skin curry and go about my business so <laughs> we gonna add that to my little two-step routine and see what's tick. Okay, next, speaking of elf, I did get another elf holy hydration face cream. Y'all know I live, ride, or die for this. Like it is perfect, it's fragrance free, like it even got SPF 30 in it, so it's sunscreen, like it's just tea, y'all. And I had to get another one of these because I went to I was in a rush before my cruise trip, but I needed some more because I had ran out. So I went to Walmart and y'all, I wasn't paying attention. I picked the wrong one and I picked up a gel. A gel, y'all. I'm like, that ain't gonna work. Then I get home and I'm like, I used to always get my sister these too. So I had got her one. I went to go get hers. I don't know if it's because I got used to using a gel, but something about hers didn't feel right. Like it was so dry and I'm like, hmm. This don't feel like the one I always had. So what I did was I started mixing the gel one and the one she had together. And I was moisturized, y'all. It do have me looking good. But I'm like, I want to go back to the OG one and see. And if it's just dry, I'm going to just keep using with the gel one. And no love lost. But I had to get it to see what's really tea. But yeah. Next, I got... A camo concealer sponge from elf just a small sponge I like these little oval sponges and I use these um, to like do my um, what I bake and for setting powder because it's smaller you can keep it dry and it's just cute and it's just easy to rub on so love those and then the next thing I got right here is bag roughly the next thing I got was Tarte Concealers. I got the travel size ones, y'all, because I didn't know. Like, people say these are really good, but I really don't know what my color is. So, I just got the same color I usually use in my concealers, which in the e.l.f. one is Tan Sand. And then in the um, Maybelline Fit Me, it is color 30. So, I figured I would try. They had, at Target, they had a sale buy one get one free of the like mini travel ones these are $15 if you know the bigger ones from Tarte are like kind of like I think they probably like $30 $40 for a concealer girl please um so I got the smaller ones they're buy one get one free so I got tan sand for this one and then I also got 
mahogany for a um, darker shade to try for um, contour. So we'll see about these. I heard that the Tarte Concealers are literally chef's kiss. So if they are really good, once these are gone, I will get the regular size ones. But I keep dropping it. But I'm excited to try these out. So yes. The next thing I got was the Tarte um a tar blush because y'all know i have a lot of liquid blushes and i also have a putty blush but i want a powder blush i feel like the powder blush on top of the liquid one it just eats so i got the tart blush it's in the shade natural beauty in the shade natural beauty and so i'm excited to try this one out and then next, I got the Benefit Cosmetics Blush in the shade Strawberry Pink. Yep, just Strawberry Pink Blush. I got in the shade Strawberry Pink. And I always heard good stuff about Benefit so, um, and Tarte. So I got the Benefit so I could try that out. Next, I got a NYX Butter Gloss. Y'all know NYX Butter Glosses are a staple. They are tea. I love these down. And I needed like a lighter color for a lip combo. So I got this. The next thing I got was. Ooh, this is from Benefit. Yeah. Okay. I got the Benefit Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencils. Y'all, Benefit Eyebrow Pencils are literally tea. They are so good. And look how pretty they are like tell me that's not cute that is literally so cute and then you take it off and it's eyebrow pencil y'all these are so good i don't even the packaging is pretty everything about it is pretty and i got this in a shade i think i got it in light brown warm black brown so this is the precisely my brow pencil eyebrow pencil from benefit i'm so excited to use this y'all because my sister is a makeup artist and she had one of these and y'all this pencil t okay the next thing i got was a mini continuous setting mist from morphe i needed some new setting spray and i think that these from morphe are more like a matte and I don't have any matte setting sprays, but let me see. Yes, it's an air powdered spray. So I think this is really giving matte. So I wanted to try this out. And then last but not least, my back also hurt from sitting on this flow, y'all. Last but not least, I got... NYX Dewy Finish Satin Spray. Y'all. If y'all know, y'all know. I think I have a makeup video up. And I was raving about this. Y'all, these are so freaking good. And I paired this with my... I always forget the brand. But... Mm -hmm. I paired this with my other setting spray. The little pink one. And y'all these two together those two together they literally give everything and so when i was in a store i've been looking for this for a while y'all i used my last drop a couple of days ago and i've been looking for this for a while and so when i was in a store i'm like dad should i be nice and just get one and leave one for you know a girly who looking for it these was the last two i was like or is it stingy if i get both then i'm like hmm Baby, I'm a consumer. This is my money, and I need these for my makeup looks to come out very tea. So that's not greedy. I'm just spending my money and getting what I paid for, period. So I got these two, y'all. If y'all can find these, baby, get them. Get them. Don't blink. Don't run. I mean, don't walk. I mean, don't blink. Don't walk. Don't crawl. But run and get these because... They are tea. And yeah. That is all the stuff I got from Target today. I also got two boxes of kitty litter because my kids eat me out of house and home. And y'all, 
I was so distracted that once I got to the car, I looked down. I said, oh, I forgot to scan the kitty litter, y'all. I accidentally stole kitty litter. Two things of kitty litter. And I was not going to go back into the store because I had already forgot to scan this. And so I went back and scanned this and paid for it. And then I'm like, girl, I'm not going to go back again. And I'm already all the way outside of the car. So I was like, Target, if y'all see this, don't put me on y'all hit list. I do not be stealing from y'all. I love y'all down. But, girl, kitty litter on y'all today. Kitty litter on y'all is all I got to say. But, yes, this was my Target haul for $3.65. Inflation is going crazy. But I love Target and Target love me. So, <laughs> But yes, that is all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this to your brother, sister, cousin, mama, auntie, uncle, daddy, and all of them immediately. And yeah, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and follow my social medias, which will be in the description below to see more about my life, y'all, to interact with me. A couple of y'all know y'all have followed me on Instagram and y'all have been DMing me and I respond and I chop it up with y'all. I give y'all advice. I talk to y'all about whatever y'all want to talk about. I love, I love, I love when y'all follow me and y'all interact with me through my other social media so that y'all can get to know me more and I can get to know y'all more because this is a family bestie. This is a family. So follow my social medias. Follow TikTok, follow Instagram. I think my Snapchat is on there. I'm not sure, but you can follow my Snapchat too um but yes don't forget to tune into and try another video go check out my first target haul um that video was up 18k get this one there too y'all um and then also go check out my last video which was my trip to the bahamas y'all i love you god loves you he has amazing amazing plans for your life do not forget that bye bestie tune in for the next video all right, y'all, it's time for the Bible tea section of the video. We got her. Me Bible, okay? Today, let me see. It is June 26th, so what we are going to do is read Proverbs chapter 26. If y'all have not seen my videos before if you're new to this channel i am not doing this to force this on nobody at the end of the day i read them they're a blessing for me they could be a blessing for you if you do not want to see this skip over it i understand not forcing this down your throat but i'm doing it so <laughs> proverbs 26 i'm praying that this blesses me and you after the day i had boy i need a good life lesson amen let's get into it like snow in summer and rain at harvest, honor is inappropriate for a fool. Like a flitting sparrow or a fluttering swallow, an undeserved curse goes nowhere. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a ride for the backs of fools. Don't answer a fool according to his foolishness or you'll be like him yourself. Answer a fool according to his foolishness or he'll become wise in his own eyes. The one who sends a message by a fool's hand cuts off his own feet and drinks violence a proverb in the mouth of a fool is like lame legs that hang limp giving honor to a fool is like binding a stone in a sling a proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a stick with thorns brandished by the hand of a drunkard the one who hires a fool or who hires those passing by is like an archer who wounds every indiscriminately everyone indiscriminately as a dog returns to his vomit, so also a fool repeats his foolishness. Do you see a person who is wise in his own eyes? There's more hope for a fool than for him. The slacker says, there's a lion in the road, a lion in the public square. A door turns on its hinges and a slacker on his bed. The slacker buries his hand into the bowl. He is too weary to bring it to his mouth. In his own eyes, a slacker is wiser than seven who can answer sensibly. A person who is passing by and meddles in a quarrel that's not his is like one who grabs a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws flaming darts and deadly arrows, so is the person who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Without wood, fire goes out. Without a gossip, conflict dies down. As charcoal for embers and wood for fire, so is a quarrelsome person for kindling strife. 
A gossip's words are like choice food that goes down to one's innermost being. Smooth lips with the evil heart are like glaze on an earthen vessel. A hateful person disguises himself with his speech and harbors deceit within. within. When he speaks graciously, don't believe him, for there are seven detestable things in his heart. Though his hatred is concealed by deception, his evil will be revealed in the, in the assembly. The one who digs a pit will fall into it, and whoever rolls a stone, it will come back on him. A lying tongue hates those it crushes, and a flattering mouth causes ruin. Y'all. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all. Mm -mm. Listen. Let me tell y'all what I got from it. When I do these, they convict me more than anything. And I asked for all that, but here we are. What I got from here is Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to his vomit, so also a fool repeats his foolishness. Y'all, I was so mad. I was so mad today. I'm just sitting there cursing and cursing and cursing. I've told y'all, I'm working on it. It's something that I left, but as a dog returns to his vomit, a fool repeats his foolishness. And so i just been loose at the lips. I don't care. i just been going at it and minding my business and doing what I want to do. But that's not what a life in Christ is. It's not about doing what you want to do. And I talked about this in my last video and it's still something I've been struggling with. And I don't even know if I've put enough effort in, honestly, to kind of get myself from that. But we got to work on it. We got to work on it. So, what else did I get from this? Um, the verses 13 through 16 about slacking. Y'all, I've been a little lazy lately. I've just been tired. Haven't been doing much. And, you know, I should have been, been getting YouTube videos up. I have a test coming up for my NRCMA. I have not been studying. It's been giving lazy. I need to get up and get to it it's like every month i go through this period where i'm just so 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 like thriving and getting stuff done and then i have the period where i'm just tired and then i'm tired and i don't do nothing and then i try to do a little something but not much and then it just repeats over and over again and i have to learn how to be disciplined and learn how discipline will work to create the life that i want and so the verses about a slacker is basically talking about a lazy person and how the lazy person has every excuse in the world in order not to do what they need to do or in order not to do what will bring them harvest or what will bring them productivity and what will bring them results and so that's the problem that I do have um, and then obviously you know gossiping need to keep keep the gossip to to keep it to myself which I don't think I have been doing a lot of gossiping, so. Um, but, you know. And then also, a lying tongue hates those as crushes. And a flattering mouth will cause ruin. That is 28. And then, for 7, 26, 7, and 26, 9. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like laying legs that hang limp. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a stick with thorns. So, I understand that. It could be seen as leading, other, leading others astray. If I come on here and I do this segment and um, I kind of try to tell y'all about things I'm going through, what I'm learning. If I keep speaking the, I keep speaking and reading from the word, but when I cut the camera off or whatever in my regular every day to day life, I'm not doing my absolute best to um, kind of change those things about myself. And so I like to keep honest with y'all, but also be honest with myself that i could be trying harder and that i have slid back some um i'm just going through a stage where i just feel like i'm not really hurting anybody like this is honestly how i feel i'm not hurting nobody when i'm having fun and all that i make sure that i'm not getting drunk no more i'm driving i'm not putting others lives at risk um i'm not cursing other people out i think about the things that i do in a way that i make others feel i kind of try to make sure that what i'm doing to my body is not destroying itself and you know i feel and i know you're not supposed to go about how you feel and your heart and all that i just feel like and i've got confirmation from others that i am so different than who i used to be and so 
for me all this is not about being religious and following all these rules and and, and and pushing them onto other people it's about becoming a better a better version of myself one that the lord can be proud of and just to say i was a good person i lived a good life i treated others right i treated myself right and i learned about self-love and i feel like i have been there some things i do slide back on but um i don't know i just feel like the enemy just wants me to beat myself up so so bad about everything and it's like it's okay i'm 22 it's okay to be young it's okay to have a good time as long as i'm making sure that i'm not harming others within that process and making sure that i'm not creating other gods in my mind and i'm not idolizing things and i'm not letting materialistic things and such like that control me instead of me controlling it if you know what i'm saying and so some things i could be trying harder on and so i don't want to lead anybody astray here by having a proverb in my mouth and reading all these things but not really explaining or telling y'all the real real about my thought process how i feel what my faith journey looks like and you know this is not this is not me doing this to say hey y'all i'm a christian hey i'm a christian do this do that do that do this i don't do this i don't do that and when i first started my journey that's who i was i was so on fire and i was just so excited and i hadn't learned anything i just started spilling my guts out day one after giving my life to the lord and you know it's been almost a year and i've learned a lot and i've come into the point where it's all about peace and balance and about having fun but also being respectful to myself and the lord so y'all the segment is segmented <laughs> um tune in for the next video i love you god loves you he has amazing plans for your life bye bestie